this is just the perfect marriage between a building which was designed by Marcel Breuer and the design of that building, it's, it's uncanny how the details of the facade of that building um, uh, speak to the details on this sculpture. It's almost like it was done as a collaboration, and of course it was not. My name is Hubert Phipps, I'm a sculptor and um, a painter as well. Minus five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition. We have lift off. Lift off at 41 minutes past the hour. Rocket um, is, uh, is monumental in scale. And when I conceived of this project, I had no idea that we were going to make it of this size. All my work is, comes from a sketch, very traditional uh, way of making art. And I select uh, one of these sketches, and I'll go and, and take it to the next step and usually uh, work it out in three dimensions uh, via a clay model. We scanned that clay model. I took it into a, th a 3D computer program, and we worked it there. And I was able to get some really good results in the computer. And based on that uh, 3D model, I had some maquette size rockets made. And they were part of an exhibition that I had down at the Coral Springs Museum of Art. I had no idea that, um, uh, that we would do anything further with it. I had some ideas for some follow-on rocket designs. Irvin Lippman of the Boca Raton Museum of Art came by the exhibition and when he saw the rocket his eyes lit up and he informed me that the museum had started an art in public places initiative and that they would like to consider this rocket in a larger size for that initiative and they had a particular property in mind. And so that's how it, it came about to um, be what it is today, which is 30 feet tall, installed at the Boca Raton Innovation Campus. The rocket has a particular style. Uh, some people uh, refer to Italian futurism as uh, the uh, artistic aesthetic that it, that it speaks to. There's a lot of underlying influences. Aviation has been a big part of my life. I grew up in, um, in the late 60s, early 70s, where the space program was really um, starting to get going. And um, I just love the shapes of rockets. I love the shapes of airplanes. Um, I started flying when I turned 16. I still fly today. It's just such a part of my life. And to be able to produce a work of art that speaks to you know, the, the innovation, the technology, and the science that, that we've, at least in my life, that, that we've witnessed. You know, powered flight, you know, it just got going in the early part of the 20th century with Wilbur and Orville Wright. And look where we are today. And now this renewed interest um, with space travel. And the liftoff. This is an exciting time, and um, I think it all had an influence uh, for me to produce this uh, sculpture.